In today's story, I'll be telling you about someone committed to spreading the word about secondhand shopping and a low waste lifestyle. Hello, it's James from the Global Portrait Project, where I'm painting 193 portraits of 193 subjects, each from different countries, with each subject involved in their country in a positive environmental action. And today it's the turn of country number 26, Bulgaria. Bulgaria is a country in southeast Europe. It occupies the whole eastern part of the Balkans and is bordered by countries beginning with R, S, N, G and T. The primary environmental concern in Bulgaria is still industrial pollution, usually in relation to the heavy industry established during the Soviet sphere of influence. The subject for my portrait for Bulgaria is Rada Boneva, eco-blogger and creator of the sustainability podcast Thrift Sheep. Rada recalls that she has always been fascinated by nature and its mightiness. In spring 2017, she created her blog thriftsheep.com the name coming from combining thrift shop and her favourite animal. The aim of the blog was to promote secondhand shopping as this is relatively taboo in Bulgaria. Rada believes that only a few people in Bulgaria understand that secondhand shopping is not only a money saver but is actually a way to help the planet and fight overconsumption and mass marketing. A few months later, she read about the zero waste lifestyle and decided to challenge herself and see what she could change. She became extra conscious about her choices and started sharing her experience online. In her own words, Rada recalls, In October 2019, I realised that writing articles was cool, but I needed something more than that. YouTube is not exactly my thing, so as a podcast listener myself, there was no such thing as the one I craved to listen, so I made it for myself. Two and a half years and over 70 episodes later, on the Thrift Sheep podcast we have talked about microplastics, biodiversity, human rights and climate refugees, seasonal food and agriculture, sustainable fashion, outdoor activities, conscious businesses, startups and innovations and many many more subjects. We desperately need more structured information about sustainability and climate in our mother language. Ryder continues, hundreds of people listen to these episodes and share their thoughts so I appreciate every single one of them. I became part of a work group with other activists and local non-profit organisations so that we could unite and give expertise, suggestions and working solutions on different subjects like recycling, deposit systems, vending machines, air pollution, ban of single-use plastics. And we could give this advice to the Ministry of Environment and Waters of Bulgaria. Rada believes there are some good examples of proactive leaders and activists in Bulgaria and there were Green Party representatives for the first time in last year's elections. A big problem remains that Bulgaria is well known for its problems with corruption. Illegal buildings are built in national parks. There is overconstruction by the seaside, deforestation, poaching and mining. Only a few cities in the country have separate recycling bins and recycling is still not obligatory by law. Rada's group are suing the government for its decision to build incineration stations for burning waste in the centre of the capital, Sofia. Rada states, It may sound difficult to be an eco-influencer in a country that doesn't exactly believe in climate crisis and doesn't want to work on it. And actually, it is. We fight with greenwashing, with prejudice, stereotyping and corruption. But step by step, the change is happening.
If you'd like to find out more about Rudder and Thrift Sheep, I have put some links in the description below. Final words from Rudder are, in Bulgaria we usually say drop by drop and a deep pool is formed. There is more information about this painting and how to get involved with the Global Portrait Project on the website and Instagram page and the links are in the description below. Next time we'll be meeting someone engaging and mobilising youth groups to look after their environment in Burkina Faso.